All right, hey guys, I'm Rupert CCG back in the video. This video I'm bringing as a gimmick puppet deck profile and it says post infinite forbidden. So we're gonna get started with two copies of gimmick puppet cattle scream. This card is great because if it's in the hand or grave, you can special summon it out by detaching exceed material. Not only that, it gives you the ability to special summon one of your opponent's cards that are in their grave. And that can be great because of the exceed monsters that do a lot of, a lot of burn damage here. And then we have one copy of Gimmick Puppet Bistal. It's able to special summon itself at the cost of discarding. And not only that, but you can banish it from your grave and make it so your opponent cannot target Gimmick Puppet monsters you control with card effects this turn. And that's great because it does give you protection from potential Imperms or Veilers. So pretty powerful card if you pitch it early on. And then we have three copies of Gimmick Puppet Bloody Doll. So if this card is in your hand, you can reveal one Gimmick Puppet Exceed monster in your extra deck and special summon both this card and another monster that matches that level. And then from there, if this card is sent to Graveyard, you can add it to your hand. So it makes it a great target here if you want to pitch it using our Gimmick P Puppet Little Soldier or something like Foolish Burial. It's just a great card that provides a lot of value for the deck. One copy of Gimmick Puppet Dreary Doll. It's a great extender. And that's pretty much all you're going to be using it for. And then one copy of Gimmick Puppet Scissor Arms. When this card is normal summon, you can send one Gimmick Puppet Monster from your deck to Grave. Another way to pitch here. Then we have two copies of Gimmick Puppet Terror Baby. When this card is normal summon, you can target one Gimmick Puppet Monster in your Grave and special summon in defense position. Not only that, but you can banish this card from your Grave. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to the activation of Gimmick Puppet Monster effects this turn. So very powerful effect here. As you can see, they have some decent graveyard effects that can really protect your board. And then we have three copies of Gimmick Puppet little soldiers so if this card is no more special summon it's a pitching element and not only that it also gives you some level modulation while it's in the grave so that's great and then the hand traps here two nibiru three ash blossom three effect failure and of course the three imperm you can play around with the ratios uh triple attack and talent great card it can break can be bricky at times but that's what for you to consider three copies of condolence puppet this card lets you send gimmick puppet monsters with different names from your deck to the graveyard up to a number of monsters your opponent control that were special summoned from the extra deck plus one so the nice thing about this is that even if your opponent doesn't have any you can just use this get one of them and that's definitely you just need the one to really get started as you're going to see in the combos video and then you can banish this card from your grave then target one machine exceed monster you control and it cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects while face up on the field so if you end with one of your boss monsters give it protection and now you, with this and the field spell it's going to be very difficult for your opponent to get rid of speaking of which the field spell is very powerful so we want to search into it using terraforming foolish barrier you can see there's a lot of graveyard effects so we want to be able to use them two copies of the rank of magic H R argent chaos force this is a very powerful rank up card and the nice thing about it is that it is able to recycle itself you can definitely run the one copy if you'd like but I just like having the two. And then we have one copy of Called by the Grave because hand traps are annoying. And then we have three copies of Forbidden Droplet just in case you're going second. Easier way to break the board. And since you have cards that have graveyard effects, it doesn't, you're not too affected by this. Three copies of Mansions of the Underworld Dolls. This is a very powerful new field spell. And as when this card is activated, you can add one gimmick puppet monster from your deck to your hand. And you're going to see there's two powerful one card combos you can use using this card. And it's going to be in the combos video. And then gimmick puppet monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. Also, they are unaffected by your opponent's activated non-exceed monster effects. It makes it very difficult for your gimmick puppet monsters to be removed. And then once returned, you can attach one exceed material from a monster you control, then target one gimmick puppet monster in your grave and special summon it to your opponent's field. Again, you want to have something to pop, so you're just going to be giving them stuff. Three copies of Imperm, as I said before, and then one copy of the Service Puppet. Target monsters your opponent control up to the number of gimmick puppet exceed monsters you control and take control of them until the end phase. So pretty annoying, your opponent's establishing board and you just take it, make it very difficult for them to play through it. All right guys, before I go to the extra deck, if you are enjoying the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And we're gonna get started here with Divine Arsenal Zeus. So it's you can see a bunch of exceed monsters. So of course we're gonna have the Zeus. One copy of Typhon. If your opponent establishes a very powerful board with a bunch of powerful monsters, being able to summon this guy is always powerful. We have two copies of gimmick puppet of dark string. If this a special summon destroy as many monsters with string counters as possible and if you do you get to draw a card out of it so you're going to be usually putting the string counters by using number 40 gimmick puppet of strings and that's why we have two of two of each and you're going to see this in the combo section of the video how you're able to OT otk your opponent pretty easily and then we have two copies of the new cxyz gimmick puppet fanatics machina so this card is special summon. You can add one puppet trap from your deck to your hand. That's why we have this service puppet. It's a strong trap card, but it's even better if you're just able to search it out for free. And then you can detach one material from this card. Special summon one monster from either graveyard to your opponent's field. And if a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field, you can target one of them, destroy it, and if you do inflict damage to your opponent, equal to half of its original attack. Not only can you do this for the OTK combo, as you're gonna see, but if you don't, if your opponent happens to stop you, you still have this monster that's very strong. And if they try to special summon something problematic, you can pop it. 
and uh, deal with that. We have one copy of the number C15 gimmick puppet giant hunter. Once per turn, you can attach one this hero from this card, then target one card your opponent controls, destroy it, and if it's a monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original attack. Again, we're just going into the whole burn damage aspect of the deck. The gimmick puppet of strings makes it very easy to attach these string counters and is important for the OTK. Two copies of the new gimmick puppet fantastic machina. So this guy is very powerful as you can attach one material from this card and add one rank of magic spell from your deck to your hand. And not only that, but it gives you the ability to normal summon once again during the rest of the turn. So this is nice because it's not just when he's on the board, you're just going to have access to this. Not only that, but he's actually able to special summon himself out. So just a card that provides a lot of value for the deck. One copy of the number C15 gimmick puppet giant grinder up to twice return during your main phase. You can attach one material from this card. Then target one special summon monster your opponent controls, destroy it, and if it's an exceed monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to its original attack. Again, going into the whole OTK aspect of the deck. And then we have Gimmick Puppet Giantess Dolls. Detach the materials, target two of your opponent's monsters, gain control of them until the end phase. Pretty annoying for your opponent and pretty funny to just take stuff using this. Two copies of the Gimmick Puppet Chimera Doll. During your main phase, if you control this Link Summon card, you can activate this effect. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, and except for Machine Exceeds. And you can take one Gimmick Puppet monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or send it to the grave. Then if all monsters you control are Gimmick Puppet monsters, you can special summon one Gimmick Puppet monster from your hand. So it's a great extender after you use up your, the effects of your Exceed monsters, go into this and then use it to search out whatever you need and get it out. And for the side deck here, I have cards that I want you guys to consider. So a future support that we are going to be getting is in the form of Gimmick Puppet Fiendish Knight. This card is pretty strong as you can target one Gimmick Puppet monster in your grave or one monster in, in your opponent's grave and special summon it to its owner's field. Then special summon this card. So what's nice is just, just taking your opponent's stuff, put it onto the board in case you need that extra burn damage. But usually you're just going to be bringing out something from your own grave and extend it that way. And then I have the number C88 and number 88 here. And they are pretty strong as they do contribute to the burn damage, mainly the gimmick puppet Disaster Leo. But I decided that it's just better to go with the more consistent version of the deck as you could just run an extra copy of the C40 and then a Typhon here just to enable these plays and make it easier in case your opponent goes first and you need a way to destroy their board. But I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe and all that. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.